Tonight's South Bank show has two films, Serso, a remarkable new play from the Soviet Union, and from Zimbabwe, The Real Sounds of Africa. Not least because of Paul Simon's recent Graceland album and tour, African music is currently enjoying an upsurge of interest in the West. It's by no means wholly new over here. Peter Gabriel has been incorporating African rhythms into his music for years, and musicians like Hugh Masakela and King Sonny Ade have been around for some time. But now the situation's changing. With little innovation noticeable in our own pop music scene, the variety and mystery of African music are more than welcome. Zimbabwe is a focus of particular interest at the moment, exporting Thomas Mapfumo, the Bundy Boys, and more recently, the Real Sounds of Africa. A 12-piece band who play their own brand of rumba music with an eye to visual appeal, which at times includes a witch doctor and a contortionist. The Real Sounds had notable successes at this year's WOMAD and Edinburgh festivals. We recorded them in performance and invited music journalist Charlie Gillett to guide us through their music. There are all sorts of things we look for in pop music. Um, but novelty and mystery and surprise are among them, and dance rhythms. And uh, the source of these has, over the last 30 years, moved in very interesting ways, where in the mid-50s, New Orleans and Memphis and Chicago mysteriously became the source of the best people, Elvis Presley, Chuck Berry, Fats Domino. In the 60s, the whole focus moved to Britain, Liverpool, London, and, uh, and now, for reasons that none of us quite understand, it seems to be happening in Africa. Uh, it's all part of the same big melting pot in the sense that the musicians in Africa have been listening to the same people that I've just been talking about, mixing it up with their own traditional musics and coming up with something which for our ears at the moment sounds mysterious, novel, surprising, you know, we don't know quite what's going to happen next. And uh, above all, very infectious. First, there's no one definable music called African music. In fact, we've got African musics. But what we are experiencing in the West at the moment is music coming from Africa, south of the Sahara. In fact, it's black African music. And um, you find that in various countries in Africa, you've got different um, rhythms. You've got Hala from Ghana, Juju from Nigeria, Ziglibizi from the Cote d'Ivoire, uh, Rumba and Suku from Zaire and Congo. Uh, Makosa from Cameroon. But uh, these uh, types of music um, came about out of uh, social um, and communal um, lifestyle of the urban population. So many people went into the uh, big towns and in the evenings they would like to re recreate a social setup. So different people from different parts of the country, when they converge, they produce uh, different sounds. When people left the shores of Africa and went abroad, like in Cuba, uh, West Indies and so on, some returned with new sound. So it was a fusion between the new sound which the black diaspora brought back and the traditional sound which actually came, um, which brought the, the sound which you are hearing at the moment. And therefore, rumba, for example, came back from Cuba, though the basics are, are African. I think the crucial turning point for African music in Britain and in America came in 1982 when Chris Blackwell signed uh, King Sunny Ade from Nigeria and uh, m launched him with all the power that Island Records has and which had worked so well for Bob Marley. So by th there is a way in which uh, African music has come because Jamaican music defaulted. They couldn't find a, a follow-up. Bob Marley, and now suddenly, literally, people are looking all through the, the world of black music. Where is the next Bob Marley? But it has had this beneficial effect. Many of us, wow, King Sonny Ade, fantastic, brilliant live act, but not so satisfying when one tr listened to one record rather than another. Not knowing the words, they all sounded the same. So we explored further. If not King Sonny Ade, maybe somebody else. And particularly, we found the wonderful music of Zaire. 